welcome. Hello friends. Today I'm going to explain the movie called, Mermaid, Lake of the Dead, from 2018. So, let's start. At the beginning of the movie, we see a guy standing by the lake. His wife comes near him, and he turns back, and it seems like something supernatural was inside him, and then immediately he jumps into the water. His wife started to cry, and asked to leave him alone and take her life instead. Suddenly her husband came out of the water, and he was normal, his wife helped him to get out of the lake, and, suddenly some supernatural power took his wife inside the lake. He tried to save her, but some creatures pulled her inside the water, and it was the mermaid. The mermaid did this to take her life instead of her husband's. After that, we saw a couple. They were Marina and Roman. They were in the swimming pool. Marina doesn't know how to swim, and her boyfriend Roman was trying to teach her. Meanwhile, a friend of Roman's came there and challenged him to a swimming race. When they started the swimming challenge, here Marina tried to swim on her own. But unfortunately, she drowned in the water. Roman had no idea about this, since he was busy with the challenge. When Roman finished the challenge, he noticed that Marina was drowning, but luckily, Roman saved her. After this incident, the relationship was not going well. Roman went to his house with his friend, near the lake. Actually this was Roman's father's house. Roman told his father that his mom died in the lake by drowning into the water. And after this accident, his father went crazy. And we realized, that the man we saw at the beginning of the movie, was Roman's dad. The mermaid, killed his mom. Suddenly, they noticed that, the basement of the house was filled with water. They thought that maybe this happened because of the leaks in the pipe, or it's just rain water. Roman's friend took him to a bachelor party because Roman was about to get married. After some time, all of his friends also joined the party. That night, Roman's mood was so dull, therefore he went to the lake. He immediately called Marina, but she was busy with something important. Since Marina didn't receive his call, he jumped into the lake to swim. When Roman was swimming in the lake, he felt that something was also there except for him. He came out of the lake, and saw a girl. The girl was combing her hair. Roman realized that she might be the mermaid. He became attracted towards her, and went closer. The girl smiled at him and asked him, if he, loved her. Here Marina called Roman so many times, but he didn't respond to her calls. In the morning, Roman's friends were looking for him. They found him near the lake, and he was passed out. When he woke up, he asked them about the mermaid. His friends noticed that the mermaid left her comb on the ground, and Marina found the same comb from Roman's clothes. Roman was not feeling so well after this incident, and he couldn't show his best performance in swimming. His coach told him to practice more and more. When Roman was having a shower after the practice session, something very unnatural happened to him. The mermaid was standing behind him, and asked him, if he loved her. Roman turned back to see what was happening, but the mermaid disappeared from there. Roman came back home. And we, saw that he was sicker than before, and he got a very high fever as well. Marina thought, Roman became sick because of overtraining. A girl touched Roman on his back. And he thought that it was Marina. When he got up to check, he saw that no one was there. Marina gave him some medicine, and told him to take a rest. Marina was talking to her sister on video call. Her name was Olga. Marina told her, sister about Roman, and said that, maybe he had found another girl. After saying it, she showed her the comb she had found in Roman's clothes. Olga was so shocked after seeing the comb. She looked at the photos of Roman's parents, and noticed the same comb in their photos. The next day, Roman went to the pool for training, but suddenly he noticed that he was in the lake. He came out of the water and saw the mermaid. The mermaid asked him the same question as before, Roman said, no, and the mermaid screamed at him. Roman passed out and we saw that he was actually in the pool and everyone was trying to wake him up. Roman became so sick after this incident. And they had to admit him to the hospital. Roman told everyone about the mermaid. He found a girl near the lake, and after meeting her, many unnatural things began to happen to him. And he sees the girl everywhere around him. 
Olga asked him, where did he first see the mermaid? He said, near the lake, and the mermaid was wearing his shirt, and kissed him. After hearing this, Marina became mad at him and left. Roman also went after her. Since Roman was so weak, he couldn't go further. Suddenly Marina heard a sound, and she went in the direction of the sound. Roman also went after her. Roman went to a room, and saw the mermaid. Before Marina could go inside the room, the door was closed by the mermaid. Before everyone could take him out of the room, the mermaid attacked him. After seeing this, Olga realized that it was a serious issue, and took him to his father. At first, Roman's father refused to meet them and told them to leave. But then Olga told him everything in detail. Roman's father still ignored her, but when he looked at Roman, he started to cry. He told Olga not to listen to the mermaid, or else, she would take her with her. Along with that he told them everything. He told them that about 20 years ago, he found the mermaid near the lake. The mermaid used to torture him, and he saw her everywhere. Roman's mom tried her best to save me from the mermaid, but she failed. And the mermaid killed her. I still miss her. He was not talking about his wife, he was talking about the mermaid. He still couldn't forget her. After hearing the story, all of them went to the house by the lake. Roman and Marina stayed inside the house. Olga and Ilya went to the lake. Ilya jumped into the water, and he found a grave under the lake. He went closer to the grave, there was a name engraved in the grave. He read the name, and noticed some dead bodies around the grave. After seeing this Ilya tried to get out of the water, but the mermaid tried to take him under the water. Somehow Ilya came out of the water, and Olga helped him to get out of the lake. He told her the mermaid's name. Her name was Lisa Grigri Ava. On the other side, Marina saw a woman in the room, and she went to the room. She noticed that it was Roman's mom's ghost. The ghost told her that she was performing a ritual before she died. Marina also told her to take what belonged to her, and return the things that belonged to her. Marina became scared and came back to her room. She went to see Roman, and thought that something was dragging him towards the basement. Marina helped him, but suddenly, the mermaid came out of the basement and started to drag him again. Marina attacked the mermaid, and saved Roman. Ilya closed the door permanently. Olga told them, that in the previous civilization if someone committed suicide, then the people buried them near the lake. She doubted that Lisa might have committed suicide as well. Since the lake water level increased, her grave submerged into the water. She also told them that they shouldn't have taken her comb with them. The mermaid always stores their power in their hair. Along with that, Marina told her about the ritual that Roman's mom was trying to do. She was talking about the comb. First Marina requested Ilya to wait for her outside. Then Marina went inside and started the ritual herself. Meanwhile Ilya saw the mermaid, and the mermaid asked him if he loved her. Ilya said, yes, therefore the mermaid was able to possess him. She also possessed Roman and made him go to the basement. Olga saw this and tried to stop him. But Roman attacked her. On the other side, Marina was finally able to complete the ritual in the right way. She put the mermaid's comb into the water, and, she looked at the mirror. After that, she said take back what belongs to you and return my love to me. Immediately the comb disappeared. We saw that the mermaid put Marina's head under the water, and showed her her past life. A guy promised to marry her, but he cheated on her and married another girl. She killed both of them, and then she killed herself by jumping into the water. That's why she became a mermaid. She had attracted so many guys towards her, and then killed them. Roman got back to his senses, and he ran towards the cottage. He noticed that Ilya was also possessed. Roman went inside the cottage, and he saw that there were so many marina, and they were asking him if he loved them or not. But this time, Roman was able to recognize the real marina. He said, I love you too, marina, and immediately, the effect of possession got out of his body. The next morning, it looked as if everything was normal, but the mermaid possessed Ilya. Ilya went to the basement. Roman also went after him. 
the mermaid took Ilya with her. Roman tried his best to save her, but he couldn't. Suddenly the mermaid attacked Roman, and told him that she took away everything from him. Meanwhile, Olga and Marina went there, and helped Roman to get out of there. They immediately went out of that house, but after going for a while, the car stopped working. Roman went outside to check, but it started raining, and Roman saw the mermaid once again. Suddenly, the car started to get filled up with water. The mermaid was doing this, because she wanted to take Roman away from Marina. Roman, immediately broke the window and saved Olga and Marina. Olga told him that, we have returned her comb, but then why is she still after us? Roman realized that she would not let him live in peace at all. Roman began to run towards the lake, and Marina also went after him. But we saw that someone hit her in the head, and she passed out. When Roman reached the lake, the mermaid approached him. Once again, she asked if he loves her. Roman said, yes, I do. But the mermaid said you're lying, because you still love Marina. The mermaid attacked him. On the other side, we saw that Olga was trying to sacrifice Marina to complete a ritual. She was doing this to save Roman and sacrifice Marina. Marina requested her not to do this, but Olga didn't listen to her. But suddenly Roman's dead came there and told Olga not to do this to Marina. Olga agreed with her father, and, the mermaid came to the basement. Roman's father requested the mermaid to take him with her, and leave them alone. After saying this, he said I love you to her. The mermaid immediately attacked Roman's father and took him with her. Olga saw this, and she grabbed the hair of the mermaid to save her father. Meanwhile, Marina untied herself and she used the scissors to cut off the mermaid's hair. The mermaid had her power in her hair. When they cut her hair off, the mermaid was screaming in pain. And suddenly she attacked Olga and took her under the water. Marina could not save Olga and her father, but she ran to the lake to save Roman. She saw that Roman was on the ground, and he was screaming in pain. Marina told him that the power of the mermaid was not in the calm, but in her hair. After hearing this Roman passed out, and Marina jumped into the water. The mermaid attacked Marina, but we saw that Marina cut all of her hair off her head. But we saw that Marina cut all of her hair off her head. When she cut her hair off her head, Roman woke up, and Marina came out of the water. They hugged each other. Marina asked Roman, do you love me? After hearing this, Roman had a doubt, and he began to cut her hair off, and we saw that it was actually the mermaid. The mermaid became so weak, and fell into the lake. Roman jumped under the water and took Marina out of the lake. After some time, Marina woke up. We saw that they won this battle against the mermaid, because of their mutual love, for each other.